The bench made four A. G ten or skeletonized liners, access lock, the blade of twenty CV. And the bench made proper with the sheep's foot. These are both on the discontinue list for 2019, which is ongoing sale right now. So this is a one of the reasons for this video to give you a heads up. The proper that, that got discontinued was with these red G10 scales. So it was the clip point and the sheep's foot version. You know, they still have quite a few other ones. The carbon fiber and the canvas micarta and I think there's the exclusive with the blue and the black blade so the Benchmade proper is usually $119 is map there's still people that have it I got mine I think through Blade HQ when they first came out 89 bucks which is a good deal they sold out pretty quick, but Knife Ship Free has them. And I don't know if, when I was looking, some of these had one, the clip point or the sheep's foot. I don't think either of them had both. You know, Knives Plus had some. But they're ranging in that $89 to $94 range, which is, you know, once again, it's a pretty good deal if, if you like it. I ended up wanting, I've, I've been wanting to get the proper with the carbon fiber scales. I don't really need S90V. So I just ordered a pair of Flytanium scales. They're $59. You can look, you know, those are pretty much anywhere. Actually, I actually think I got these on Amazon. I had some points. And, uh, you know, it was the same price as everywhere else. And it showed up in three or four days in the mail. So the foray is usually $195. I put $199. It's $195.99. What's weird is a few of the vendors... I think it was either DLT or uh, GP knife still had the, the they're not discounting it, at least yet it was still the map price I got mine for 139 at uh, Blade HQ with the proper I got them both at the same time uh, knife works has it right now for 139 and uh, knife center for 149 you know 20 CV 3.58 ounces you know, this is a higher end bench made. You could say it's a little overpriced. I wouldn't have bought it at this price. I'm not really into bench made designs that much. The one that, you know, really uh, stands out to me that I've never purchased is the Knives Ship Free exclusive, the Striker, Axis Striker with the carbon fiber and the M4 blade. I, I just haven't gone around to getting one because they never discount them. And I think 250 bucks is kind of steep for it, but. At $139, this is a steal. This is a very stout, it's like a stout gentleman's folder. It's kind of like the Gale Bradley where the stainless steel liners are proud of the scales, if you can see it. The blade stock is pretty thick. And, uh, you know, I took these scales off to look, and uh, it's very rugged construction. The the scales are just like, if, if you're familiar with the mass drop gent, the scales just come off, but they do nothing with the knife. The actual knife has got, it's got recessed holes in the G, G10, and there's actual screws underneath here that hold the knife together, you know, in these barrel spacers. So it's, it's a stout knife. I mean, uh, got a deep carry clip. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. It's kind of long. Doesn't really feel like it's going to give me a hot spot. The knife's comfortable. You know, it's barely fitting in my hand. You know, my pinky's wrapping around there. I have double XL to XL size hands. But it is comfortable. I don't know why this knife never really took off. Maybe it was the price. Maybe it's a slight recurve, which doesn't bother me. But I think it's a, just a beautiful folder. The G10's nicely layered. I'm going to look into some aftermarket scales for it. Either Micarta or uh, some carbon fiber. I don't know if... I couldn't really find anything, you know, very quickly on it, but uh, I'll dig it a little deeper and see what I can find. But at 139 bucks on discontinue, this is, I think this is a great option. Especially, you know, look at the pivot. The pivot, you either love it or you hate it. I like it. Max, uh, it matches the access bar, you know, the lock bar. 
just a good looking blade with a good ergonomics, you know, and a great steel. The proper, I've been, like I said, I've been wanting that S90V carbon fiber version, but I'm not going to spend 200 bucks. I don't think it's worth that. So at $89 and $59 for the, for the scales, you know, I got my own. I made another version like I did with the Manix 2XL. Both knives have, you know, good bevels. They're sharp. What I've noticed about Benchmade when I do get them is they're not Spyderco sharp. But the bevels are usually, you know, symmetrical on both sides. You know, it's got the half stop. It's a nice knife. Good ergonomics. It's got a good pull to it. This is going to be a great uh, knife to try out. I'm not really so much into slip joints. I am into the modern style. I haven't been using them that much because I don't like things right in the bottom of my pocket. But I'll give this one a try, and then, you know, if I, I don't end up liking it, I'll gift it to somebody. But I just wanted to tell about the deal right now. You know, if you're looking to get a proper and you didn't like the 120 bucks, you know, $89, that's $30 off. So here's a size comparison. To the bug out, this is the one that I just got that titanium backspacer from uh, Rock Scale Designs. These are their scales too. So you obviously see the knife's not a big knife. You know, just really nice size for EDC. So the bench made proper. The red G10 for $89, the sheep's foot blade that I've added the titanium carbon fiber scales, and the Benchmade 4A with 20 CV G10 over skeletonized liners. Both discontinued. There's a few more discontinued knives. If you're interested, you can get good deals on.